The topic of bullying has been a forefront discussion point in recent times. Sentiment around the concept of dealing with bullies differs greatly from person to person. Some people think it's just a matter of manning up and facing the challenge. Others believe that it's a problem that's growing in severity. Now, methods of dealing with bullies is exceptionally relevant in the context of the martial arts. In many cases, it's the very reason that people join the school in the first place. Today, we're going to talk with one organization that uses karate and the martial arts to help give kids the tools to combat bullying and stand proudly on their own. Bullying is nothing new. I mean, the concept of the strong preying on the weak has been around as long as man has. But what makes it such a problem in our modern society? Are more kids becoming bullies? Or is it just that since we live in a connected society with social media that it's harder to escape from? In any case, it's still a real problem as thousands of children commit suicide every year with several others resorting to acts of violence themselves. Now, when it comes to the martial arts, many people believe that all you have to do is learn to fight and punch them back harder. Does that really stop the bullying or does that just cause them to go pick a different target? We recently attended the Zen of Kempo, a three-day Kempo seminar held here in South Florida by Master Sean Kelly. Now, Mr. Kelly is a well-respected Kempo instructor. He has been heavily involved with the Guardian Angels, and he also leads the fight against bullies with his program, Stomp the Bullying. Now, we got a chance to talk to him and others in the program about their mission to help give kids a fighting chance. Stomp the Bullying uh, started off as more of a personal situation with an elderly woman who came into my school when I had it still open. And what happened is she was robbed from being next door. There was a Dairy Queen store and she had actually went in there to get ice cream and somebody came in just at random and they pulled off her purse and uh, took it. And she sat in my school and I thought it was a grandmother looking to pick up one of her children. And I was, as that class let out, I didn't have any kids left and I walked up to her and said, you know, can I help you with something? And she was shaking, being nervous. And she says, no, I'm, I was just robbed. I said, excuse me? I was just robbed, I was next door. Now, mind you, at that time, where I had the school, there was like eight, if not nine, different stores. And, uh, and I asked her if she was okay, and she told me she was fine. I called the police, and obviously because of the situation, gave her some water. And I said, you know, and as we're waiting, I asked her why, what possessed her to come into my place, of all places. She said, well, I felt safe. I said, yes, ma'am, I'll watch over you. And, and she says, no, you don't understand. She says, I came here specifically because of what just happened, one, she said, but you know, my, I had a grandson that used to come to the karate school here and he did very well with it. And Mr. Kelly, the owner, um, I know was also with the organization called the Guardian Angels and they protect people. So I felt safe by coming in here. I said, well, ma'am, I said, I'm Sean Kelly. I'm, forgive me if I don't remember you personally. And I said, there's always Guardian Angels around. But when she said safe place, and she chose my place to go to, even though anywhere else she could have gone for whatever it's worth, that triggered something. And I'm like, you know something? When I was a kid, and I remember my parents saying, if you ever found yourself in trouble, you know, go to your nearby fire department, police department. But now in these days, it's hard to find them. They usually sit back behind a building and they don't stand out like they used to. But there's a martial arts school in every street. Bullying, you know, happens more with just kids. It happens throughout life at times. Myself, I was bullied when I can remember being a kid, but didn't really, it didn't dawn on me until later talking to people about certain things and, and uh, remembering what that felt like. And the idea of a child going through that, it's just kind of frightening to think that the kid's all alone and, and he's feeling those feelings. We're trying to do something different. We're trying to um, create much more awareness that exists. You think about bullying as one of those actions that as time goes on and in the era that we're on, we're supposed to um, have grown better, to understand more, to, to, to be more aware of what's going on, yet we still deal with the same issues as 50 years ago. So why is that? Why hasn't our society really changed? And uh, what is lacking? I was on the first round of certification and I'm out in the community doing this today. We're actually going to certify one of my other instructors for our first safe place here in Palm Beach County. So I'm glad that I'm able to take the Stomp the Bullying out into the communities and then out into different arts outside of Kenpo. So I'm introducing it into my other style, which is uh, Jiu Jitsu. So um, it's great for the kids. I was, you know, I have my own story of being bullied and I was able to, uh, you know, succumb that through my martial arts 
and be able to share that back with the kids. So it's a very strong, it's a very strong movement that, I, that I'm happy to be proud of. Lack of confidence is a major reason that a child could become the target of bullying. Now, this plays a significant factor in facing this challenge. Learning to physically defend yourself is definitely important, but with today's society and many no-tolerance rules, even the kids who are justified in defending themselves still receive suspensions and severe punishments. But the point of the martial arts is to become a better version of yourself, and that often means learning the value of self-worth and helping kids develop a sense of motivation. Uh, so Stomp the Bullying has created these safe places, safe places that allow us to um, bring a victim and help them learn through a specific curriculum, ways in which they can stand up for themselves, they can find their inner voice, they can find their inner strength and understand how they can then work to better themselves in those, in those moments. Um, we're looking to really empower people in different ways and help kids and teenagers and even younger adults and into adulthood to become better. Um, to not only stop the action, but also teach those who are around them to get rid of the action altogether. So that's our hope. Well, we have people that can talk to them, people that can we have martial arts schools where they can go into and basically teach the kids uh, some small, small bit of self-defense, but teach them, teaching them more confidence within themselves. Uh, anybody that knows anything about bullies, what they do is, is, is look for weakness and they uh, they jump in on it and what, I don't believe that there's any child alive that can not be helped. So this program uplifts them, uh, lets them know that they can do anything they want to do and uh, shows to the world that every child we have walking this earth is full of greatness, period. And because of my network I felt that as a martial artist it is our responsibility to save and protect people's peace and we empower people and that gave me the idea about certifying and creating an organization of facilitating coaches and hence stomp the bullying was let's put our foot down let's step up stand up and do something outside just doing this karate people they want from the community I want them to give back to the community and be advocates, because that's pretty much what I did. And allowed now to be noticed that there are safe places, there are martial arts schools, and they can empower people not only on the physical point, but as a mentor and change those lives. So it's a process, and so far we're gaining a lot of momentum to the point they're now wanting it in South America. I've seen some great results. It's, it's um, I always tell people I enjoy uh, mentoring or, or helping kids out when they get it when that little thing comes to them and it just sparks in their eyes and they get so excited about it. they walk taller they speak more forward and and just the confidence that comes out of them you know and and you look at them and just know that they're gonna continue to uh, to do some great things so the whole slogan is unity to community so by uniting different members of the community for the greater good of the community we all come together to be able to help kids, whether it's the bully or the one being bullied. Um, both are the same problem as one. Stop the Bullying takes a multi-directional approach in its mission to combat bullying. There's teaching children physical self-defense. There's teaching them the life skills and developing the mental strength they need to become stronger. There's providing them with schools and locations that they can feel safe going to if they are in trouble. And they also realize that sometimes the bully is a person who needs help too. Usually another thing we do too is workshops and lectures. And we go in and we speak on the subject. And what we did recently, actually I was listening to Coach Jossley talk to some of the other uh, people that are interested. And she said, I want you to remember the three, what she calls the three B's. She said, there's the bully, there's the bullied, and then there's the bystander. The ones who just sit there and they watch. Educate the bully. A person who's a bully is usually a person who's got a very strong personality. How can we make the shift for that strong personality to do something good? 
to really be a leader, to really be a positive influence in other people's lives rather than taking that in the negative path and create a bullying situation. And then definitely uh, educate the bystander because when um, you have, you're sitting around and you're taping a bullying action your video cam with your video camera, uh, you are uh, as much an enabler as the one who's doing the action. Um, so understanding that we all have a, a responsibility to all these situations and how we can actually help in the situation, how we can guide people. And then by the right mentorship and the right um, conversations, then we're able to change some of those outcomes and be able to maybe give some hope. We can definitely give students, kids, um, uh, just a little bit of a trickle of a, of a seed that can help them uh, find their way and by default then maybe help others as well. Stop the Bullying offers education on bullying through seminars and workshops held at schools, dojos, youth groups, as well as certifying counselors who work directly with children who are the victims of severe and sometimes dangerous bullying. As educated martial artists, we should not only seek to better ourselves, but also stand strong for those who need our help, and Stomp the Bullying is looking for more people to get involved in that fight. You know, bringing as many schools and academies, uh, doesn't matter what the style, what the system, what the background is. Now we have, uh, you know, this Renzo Gracie uh, Academy, which is a very world-renowned uh, name uh, from the Gracie family, and we're lucky enough to have uh, our local school here in West Palm Beach, more specifically Lake Worth, um, allowing us to come in and they're gonna be part of uh, Stomp the Bullying. So we're hoping that this will help bring more awareness and out into the world so more martial humans, more martial artists can help with the whole bullying problem. Get it as much around the world as, as possible. One of the, the people inside the organization they were talking about getting it as, as far as even bringing the kids in to the point to where letting them get out and, and recruit other kids that they know that's being bullied they don't talk about. We know a lot of kids in schools don't talk. They don't talk much to each other, if, especially if they're being bullied. But kids know what's going on with other kids. And they might not tell an adult, but you know, um, to have them talk to the kids and say, hey, you know, this is where I'm going at. You know, hey, why don't you come over here and talk to this person? You know, could help a lot and help spread the word. And, uh, get out there more on social media and, and get, get the word out as much as possible. There is a lot of uh, ways that people can get involved. You look at where you are and what you can give. Some people can give their time, some people can be mentors, some people can donate. So there are different ways in which uh, people can become involved. StompTheBullying.org, call Mr. Kelly and, and, uh, or send an email out to, uh, to Stomp the Bullying. I think the information is on there. And, uh, have someone come out and speak at their schools and talk to whoever that needs to be talked to as far as uh, getting something started there. It would be great. Being able to be brave and confident and brave, give them courage, I think martial arts is the science of it, is the recipe. It did it to me. I'm 57 and my first encounter with bullying was five years old. I remember it like it was yesterday. So like the new motto is with everything, if you see something, say something. And that's what we're trying to do. The martial arts people, young or old, the first thing they're going to start encountering after their 90 days or more being in any martial arts school is confidence. And confidence is what, oh, I want to raise my hand now. Or I want to go tell someone. And that's what we're trying to build is that confidence to speak up. If you have a school and you're interested in registering as a martial arts safe place, or if you're willing to hold workshops or become a certified counselor, or in any way you want to help support this mission, then please reach out to them now and help give kids the skills to survive this challenge.